Welcome to the lovely problem. 2m divided by 7 plus 3m divided by 14 equals 3. So what we've been working on is combining our like terms, right? We need to solve for this m. We need to find the value of m that makes this equation true. Well, what we've done before is combined our like terms or combined our variables, right? So we'd have one single variable that we could solve for. We could isolate. And this one becomes a big problem because of stupid fractions, right? Dang. So there's a couple ways we can get rid of fractions. Um, and you know, to kind of to help you out with it, all right? So the main important thing I want to do is remember when adding fractions, all right? I know my numerators and my denominators, but I need to get these together. I got to get these two m's together. So I have to add these fractions. That's why we work so hard on understanding how to add and subtract, multiply, divide fractions. So I need to add these fractions. Remember when adding fractions, your denominators have to be the same. So to get these to be the same, I need to look at what is the smallest number that they could be the same for. Well, that's what we call the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of 7 and 14 is 14, meaning 7 goes into 14 twice, and 14 goes into, four, and 14, goes into 14 once. Now, since 14 is already the least common multiple, I don't need to do anything to it because it's already that number. However, I need to transform 7 to be 14. So to do that, I need to multiply by 2. So when multiplying by 2 at my denominator, you have to remember you have to keep equivalent fractions. I can't change the fraction because if I change this fraction, I'm going to change the problem, right? See, if I multiply the denominator by 2, that means I need to multiply every, everything by 2. But if I multiply the denominator and the numerator by 2, then what I've done is I've only, I have not changed the problem. All I did was I um, rewrote the equation. I'll give you an example. Is 1 half the same thing as 2 fourths. Yeah, it is, right? Even though I had to multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, but those are exactly the same. The value of them is the same. So as long as you multiply the numerator and denominator by the same, you have equivalent, equa or equivalent fractions. So therefore, I'll have 4m over 14 plus 3m over 14 equals 3. Now I can combine my like terms, combine my fractions, so I get 7m over 14 equals 3. Now what we can see is we have a two-step equation. Um, I have multiplication of m and division by m. Now there's a couple ways we could write this. You could write it as 7 fourteenths m equals 3. All right. So what I'm going to do is we could do it two different ways. Here you could see, all right, my variable is being divided by 14. So undo that by multiplying by 14. This is kind of getting in the way. So therefore, that will go to 1. 1 times 7m is just 7m equals 3 times 14, which is 42. Now undo multiplication by dividing on both sides. So I get m equals 6. The other way, what I was writing down there, which I'll show, is right, 7 times m divided by 14. You can rewrite that as a fraction. And the reason why I want to write it like this is because some of you Remember that, remember, we can get rid of a fraction by multiplying by its reciprocal. So you could do both operations individually, or you could do it all in one step by multiplying by the reciprocal. Because the res a number multiplied by its reciprocal is going to go to 1, leaving my variable by itself, which ends up equaling 6 as well. So there you go. It's a little bit complex uh, problem for you, a little bit different than what we've been working on. However, the idea is still the same. Get your variable isolated so you can find the value of it that's going to make the equation true. Thanks.